It's a side of Notre Dame tourists don't get to see. On a guided tour like no other, with building conservation expert Christelle Gara. It's in a far worse state than the north side. Every year she inspects the state of the cathedral's facades to measure the deterioration of the windows, statues and gargoyles. It's a lot more exposed to bad weather, wind, rain, even the sun. Sometimes repairs are urgent. We had to put straps around the statue to keep it in place. Philippe Villeneuve has been the cathedral's head architect for the last five years. He says the building is in a bad state, as cement used in the 19th century restoration is beginning to crumble. The stone is porous, the cement is rock solid, so solid that when water enters the masonry, it can only seep out through the stone and not the cement, so the stones are getting completely worn down and the cement seal remains intact. Notre Dame spire measures 100 meters from the ground. Its restoration began last year, as well as repairs to the rampart walkway, gargoyles and pinnacles, as part of a 60 million euro project over 10 years. The French government is covering two thirds of the costs, but the church has to find the remaining 20 million euros and has turned to sponsorship to foot the bill. Cécile Passat has donated several hundred euros online. I think Notre Dame is important for the heritage of European Gothic architecture, and we're also raising the awareness of millions of tourists by speaking about the damage, which they won't have necessarily realized is an issue. Notre Dame has received 400 donations in the last year, but it's far from enough for Michel Picot, who's looking for donations on the other side of the Atlantic with his foundation Friends of Notre Dame. Notre Dame is the first monument that springs to mind when Americans think of Europe. They know the book by Victor Hugo, and they know even better the musicals and cartoons, such as The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Between 30 and 50,000 visitors from across the globe come to admire the gem of French Gothic architecture every day. But the church has always refused to introduce paid entry for tourists.